Okay, so here I am in South Tampa <clears throat> installing high-end wallpaper known as uh, Wolf Gordon. This paper is so high quality that you could put a blowtorch, a fire, right on the paper itself, moving the fire, and you would not scorch the paper immediately. That's how good this paper is. Of course, this, have a, this, this paper has a fire resistance rating. And uh, this is for a commercial establishment in a restaurant. And consequently, because of its high quality, it is very thick and quite stubborn for a wallpaper hanger. And the only way to manipulate this paper, uh, and I mean every square foot of it, is to heat it up. If you want to get the most out of this paper, you actually have to use the equivalent of an, an iron with which you would press one of your shirts. If you look at this piece of paper, it's already installed, okay? This one right here. And it's curing as I speak to you. And this one obviously is not. So the reason I wanted to make this very brief video is to show you how these types of wallpapers are, uh, are installed. So the graphics, uh, one has to pay very close attention to the graphics. At the very edge of the paper here, okay, this is going to be waste, this inch of paper here. You will notice this line. Do you see this vertical line? Okay. That's a marker, even though it's part of the beauty of the paper. It's also a marker by which I determine where I am in relation to the paper over which I'm going to cut my seam. And so if I pull this vertical, if I pull this seam up, look what's underneath this vertical line. Okay, watch this. See the other vertical line? If it were not there, when I cut it, guess what? The design is off and this $50 per square yard just for the materials. Wallpaper is pretty much good for nothing, okay? So I have to go over this whole 11 uh, feet of wallpaper, making sure that all of my lines are mixed up. Or, did I say mixed up? Or matched up, okay? So for example, here's another one. Watch this. See this one? See this one going like this? Watch this. Okay, let me catch it too. I wanna to make sure that I'm looking at it too. See that? See it under there? Okay. So you see this, the end of this tail? Let's call it a tail, right? Watch this. See that one right there? Now, does it have to be exact? Almost 100%. Now, you're not gonna cut on this thing. That's not gonna be cut on. You're gonna cut here, in this dead space. Gives you a little room for error, okay? And it also takes into account the crookedness of walls. So just imagine cutting a straight line, right? And if your wall is a little off like that, guess what? The, your, the graphics, if it's way off, your graphics are going to be, you wind up, you're gonna wind up cutting your graphics. So it's not going to happen. Uh, they give us, and if you, you can see it right here, you see this hump right here? So from this edge of the paper to this hump, somewhere in between those two marks is my cut. Okay. So I wanna have the markers lined up with each other, why? Cause that gives me a really good idea about the paper being overlapped properly. Here's the other way to do it. Do you see this thing right here? You see this design? You want to study the graphics, come all the way across it. And you see this one? It's the same thing. See that? So we'll do it again. So you see this? Let's call it, um, it looks like, a, looks like a, a mitten, right? There's the thumb and here's the fingers. Any way you want to identify this thing, you go all the way over here and you find the other mitten and the other one over there and these all, the point of these mittens must be level. 
this has to be level with this, it has to be level with that. If it's not, when you step all the way back, if you're off more than a half an inch, you're going to see it. Especially if you get somebody looking at the top of the paper. He'll say, I see a mitten at the top left, I don't see one on the right. And a very critical eye will find that very quickly. Now this is a restaurant, nobody's going to be looking at it. But if you should be off where people are sitting down, it's noticeable. And why be off when you, you just get the idea, you know what you're doing, and then you go from there. Okay, so I'll call this uh, step one of installing Wolf Gordon wallpaper. Very high-end paper, very, uh, very expensive paper. You don't want to be making mistakes with this stuff. The setup for my job is right here. Look, see this? This is my paper rolled out. Why do I have it rolled out? Well, you want to get the paper straightened out. It comes in a roll, okay? And the paper, I mean, it's excellent quality stuff, but it does retain the curvature of the roll, okay? Just like anything else. So what you're allowing it to do is open up and conform itself in the temperature of the room in which it's going to be installed. Ideally, the paper, ideally, this is not the way it uh, is in real life, ideally the paper is unraveled and sitting for 72 hours in, the, uh, in at least the same temperature at which or in which the room of installation will take place, okay? You get the idea. I mean, it's the same thing as uh, tiles, uh, vinyl tiles, etc. okay? So... That's it. I just want to end this on part one of uh, installation of Wolf Gordon, Wolf Gordon uh, wallpaper. And uh, I'll see you on frame two.